Hello everyone, today I would be discussing one of the problems in core forces of 930. It was organized by the forces community. The problem was C in D2 and A in D1 around, and the problem name is Bitwise Operation Wizard. So let's get started. Problem statement This is an interactive problem. There is a secret sequence P0, P1 up to Pn minus 1, which is a permutation of 0, 1 up to n minus 1. You need to find any two indexes i and j such that bitwise ZOR of pi and pj is maximized. To do this, you can ask queries. Each query has the following form. You pick arbitrary indexes a, b, c, and d, where all of them are between 0 and n minus 1. Next, the jury calculate x, which is bitwise OR of pa and pb, and y, which is bitwise OR of pc and pd. Finally, you received the result of comparison between x and y. In other words, you are told if x is less than y, x is greater than y, or x equal to y. Please find any two indexes i and j such that bitwise or zero is maximized among all such pairs using at most three n queries. If there are multiple pairs of indexes satisfying the condition, you may output any of them. And the interaction, like the first line of his test case, contains one integer n. At this moment, the permutation p0, p1, up to pn minus 1 is chosen. The interactor in this task is not adaptive. In other words, the sequence p is fixed in every test case and does not change during the interaction. To ask a query, you need to pick four indexes a, b, c, and d and print the line of the following from question mark and then all the indexes a, b, c, and d. After that, you received less than sign. If bitwise or of p and pb is less than bitwise or of pc and pd. Equal to sign if both bitwise ors are equal and greater than sign if pa pb or is greater than pc pd. You can make at most 3n queries of this form. Next, if your program has found a pair of indexes i and j such that p pi is or pz is maximized, print the line of the following form. Cool. Exclamation mark i and j. Note that the, this line is not considered a query and is not taken into account when calculating the number of queries asked. It's a constructive problem. So, like people may have different solutions, different ideas they may have tried on it. So, first let's play around this problem and see like what are the observations we can make. Let's list all the numbers from for n equal to n in binary presentation. What I have seen is like most of the people have only one solution. So it was more of a hit or miss problem. Either you know the solution. In that case, you could have gotten AC or you have missed it. Listing all the numbers up to 11 in binary, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. And like this is the binary representation. There are four bits. All the additional bits would be 0 in front of these numbers over here. Like for example, 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on. Let's check pairs with the maximum ZOR. Maximum possible ZOR is 15 in this case. And for n equal to pair, like the pair is 7 and 8. Like if you pick this 7 and 8, then you if you notice bitwise ZOR, like this bit here would be 1, this bit here would be 1, this bit here would be 1, this bit here would be 1. So in the end, like all of the bits in the bitwise ZOR of 7 and 8, like we will have 4 times 1. And in general, if n minus 1 has at least k bits, then there exists a pair with ZOR equal to k1 bits. In this case, like n minus 1 has 4 bits. So like we have one pair which has all the 4 bits as well. And like, is this the unique pair? The answer is no. Let's list all such pairs. Then you can see like 7 and 8 have maximum ZOR. 6 and 9 also have maximum ZOR. And 5 and 10 also has maximum ZOR. And all those three pairs have maximum ZOR 15. And in general, if T which is equal to 2 to the power K be the largest power of 2 which is less than N, then all of the following pairs have maximum ZOR. T minus 1, ZOR T, T minus 2, ZOR T plus 1, so on until like 
t minus i minus 1 so t plus i and at last when you look at for n minus 1 2 t minus n minus 2 like you will have a lot of such pairs which can have maximum sort based on what the maximum value like if like n is the maximum value and t is the maximum power of 2 that exists between 0 to n minus 1 then there would be n minus t such pairs In general, let t equal to 2 to the power n be the largest power of n. And like for the rest remaining of my problem, like I will focus on this pair. Where one of the element is n minus 1 and like we the other element whatever is there. And the, the maximum zor is like if 2 to the power k is the maximum number, then the maximum zor is 2 to the power k and the remaining bits which are not present in 2 to the power k. And this is because like I know one algorithm like which using which we can find it and like how to get an intuition would be like if you play around problems then that would be the way let's first find the location of n minus one the maximum element in the array like let's first find this 10 and then we will focus on how to find this 5 over here notice that the condition is 0 is less than equal to a b c d is less than n so repetitions are allowed between a b c and d and can we find the index of maximum element if we query with a equal to b equal to u and c equal to d equal to v then like bitwise or of a and b would simply be like the element which is present at index u and bitwise or of c and d would be the element which is present at index v so the result is the comparison of p u and p v over there one method to do is we can sort the permutation using merge sort like algorithm using O of n log n comparisons. So we will be able to identify index of all the elements using sort. Like for example, if you write comp function which takes x and y and returns to if the element at index x is less than index y, it should be px. We query for like a equal to b equal to x and c and d equal to y if it says s is less than sign then px and py returns true otherwise it returns false and then now we can use built-in sort function sort which a dot begin a dot end and come function which we provide over there and after sorting the zeroth element is the element at index zero is at index a zero one is at index a one i is at index ai and n minus 1 is at index n minus 1 using n log n function we can will definitely give us wa because at max 3 into n such queries are allowed but like this is one way using which you can see or sort find all the elements so maximum or bit anything you ask would be easier for this problem and like because we want to find the maximum element of index what we can do is we can also run a single for loop finding the max element of the index using a single for loop and like our function would look like def maximum index and max index like let's start with zero and then let's try all the index i equal to one to n minus one and if we compare like current max index with the next index and if it says like value at max index is less than index then we reassign the value at max index this should be instead of idx max index would be equal to idx and n minus one queries will be used to find the maximum element index over here now i will fix this slide a bit uh, before uploading the video and the question is like how do we find the other element of uh, other element of n minus one with maximums or and like notice that query allows only comparisons using or of the elements. So let's inspect of or of all the elements with n minus one. So ten or zero is ten, ten or one is eleven, ten or two is ten, and if we write all this like this, notice that ten or five is fifteen, like fifteen is also the max. So or we can have and 10 or 7 is also 15 that is the maximum zor and there would be more elements over there 
and if you notice here like maximum or is same as maximum or which is 15 and it turns out that the minimum element with maximum which maximum or also gives us maximum or which is 5 in this case like 7 like if you take 10 or 7 you will probably get 8 need 10 plus 4 you will probably get 13 over here like the bits of 10 would be 1 0 1 0 and bits of 7 would be 0 1 1 1 so overall it would be 1 1 0 1 which is 8 plus 4 plus 1 13 and so now like if we like so the algorithm which turns out is like let's try to find like once we know like at which place the max index element is 10 is we can try to look at or of all the elements which with 10 and we can try to find the list of all the elements which gives us the maximum or and among all the elements if we try to find the minimum element we will get a required pair over here until this will work because minimum number among these values of maximum or will have least number of common bits with n minus because like in case of common bits zor gives us zero but or gives us one so like if we look at two elements with maximum or and if we try to reduce one of the element as small as possible like the number of common bit should integrally reduce over there like that it, this is not a monotonic function but if we look at each bit individually if there is a common bit with n minus one if if you simply remove that bit like your or will not change but zor makes up one over there like for example like two bits one and one on there then taking zor for them will give us zero but if you remove this one and replace with zero and other element being one then your zor and or both would be one So this also gives in general this algorithm will well, find all the elements with maximum zor with n minus one and then among these elements find the minimum value value over there. And this is pretty much the algorithm we have. And a pseudo code can be written as like get other element which takes max index where the max element exists and n. We can say the required index is zero. And for index i equal to one to n minus one, we first query required index with I have taken zor with max index and our current index taken or with max index if it says like our required index gives us the maximum or we simply continue over here if it says required index gives us less or than current idx then we assign required index with idx and continue over here and in case or is equal then we compare them and take the minimum value over there so we can directly call our other com function if idx element at idx is less than required idx then we reassign required idx with x and at last we should return required idx over here so like this should be required idx and final algorithm for solving is first find max index like maximum calling maximum index ones. max index would be the place where n minus 1 exists using n queries and then use other pair like get other element which takes max index and n and gives us the other pair and at last we can print both of these indexes to get our final value and like if you notice like this algorithm runs for order n times and there can be at max two times query here we run for n queries over here and in case every time such or is equal here also we will end up with n queries so overall this algorithm takes three n queries overall and i will jump on to my code for this one as well Like I take number of test cases as input and as input and solve over here. And my solve function, there is one query function like here the commented out code is what I was using for brute forcing. And like I don't really need this prime over here, like I was randomly suffering elements and you can ignore it. Query functions takes A, B, C, and D and returns a comparison between them. You can simply assume that like i randomly suffered although it was not required but you know it prints those indexes and takes s as input and if s is less than it returns 
minus one equal then it returns zero and greater than then it returns one and print is the method which prints given two indexes my first method is find largest element which assumes that max zero is a max index so far and then idx equal to one two and minus one and then it queries take or of current max with max and compare it with idx or of element at idx with idx and if it's minus one then in that case the element at mx is less than element at idx so we reassign max with idx and return whatever max we have got so this will give us the largest number and like then we can also call like other pair bit get other pair which takes largest element index it starts from idx equal to 0 to n if idx is max then ignores it otherwise it compares like or of element at max with idx and element at max with the other pair like the element which we want to focus here if it says the result is one like which means like the current index gives us a better or then we reassign that as a current maximum and continue and if it says like both the ors are equal then we compare both the queries over here the element at idx and the current variable we are denoting and if current element is less than whatever we have right now then it reassigns other pair with idx and continues and at last it returns the other pair and this gets an accepted verdict and this was the idea for this problem so thanks a lot for everyone for joining